All right, guys, welcome back to Rancho Del Arroyo. Um, over the past little bit, I have spent some time setting up for a great one grind. I am hunting this lake here, this one, this one, and this one. So these are the main lakes that we're going to be hitting up. Hopefully, we can uh, find a couple decent whitetail today. If I just kind of wanted y'all to see a little bit of my setup. Um, some of my zones have started to change around a little bit, like this zone here I think has gone all does and I now have a new zone here and this zone here has now gone uh, gone all does so there's probably gonna be a new zone popping up somewhere in here eventually but uh, normally I like to start right up here at this first zone all right and here's the first zone um, this tends to be a pretty decent one I have a handful of bucks here Generally, anywhere from two up to about four handful of does. That's a nice buck there. That's the main one we want to get, the max weight estimate. So we're probably going to try and take him. And then once this guy's head goes down, we'll take them and just like that. And just like that. There we go. That should be one big white tail and one eh, kind of medium sized white tail down. Alright, and here are our bucks. Let's see. I think this is the smaller one. Just a little 171. And then this should be our max weight. That's been a 213, 86.5 kg. Not a monster, but definitely a decent buck. Now this is generally my second stop right up here. I spawn here and shoot across the lake. All right, and here's the zone. It's generally not a huge zone, um, but it does typically have a buck or two in it. Mostly two. Um, most of the other zones in this area are either too small to mess with or, in, or are in such a uh, horrible area. I can't get a tripod. Up. And I prefer to use the tripods because they uh, help me keep my hunting pressure down. And next time that guy's head goes down, I think I'm going to try and take this guy first. Um, we're probably going to be going for a bit of a Texas heart shot here. And actually, because of that stupid weird angle, um, I'm going to use the 300. Because, I mean, you have to remember, score does not matter. Right now, when it comes to this, you're just trying to get them down. And in order for that, because of the weird shot angle, just wanted to go ahead and do that. Well, they're already frozen, so didn't really do much. But uh, yeah, let's go grab them. All right, and here they are. Yeah, this they, uh, they kind of glitched out a little bit. Please do not kill me. Jeez, I swear. But uh, sometimes it just helps to break out the 300. Brings them down a little bit quicker. Um, I think we're probably going to go here and just make sure no bucks have spawned in. And then we'll just kind of check around and make sure no new zones have appeared. Alright guys, and it looks like it is still just all does here. But I think what I'm going to start doing is trying to take a couple of these does out. Just because I would like to get a better zone in here that's for sure so we're going to take that one and that one. Oh, of course that one fell in the water but looks like it's just time for a massacre I really don't care at this point I just want this uh, doe zone gone so we're gonna see if we can pop the rest of these this must be I don't know what is happening right now the zones seem to be bugging out when I shoot, but um, yeah, that should be most of them. Um, we'll let the other ones go and get them another time. I mean, unless that one's just gonna kind of like stand there in some instances. Nah, it looks like she's gonna get on. So uh, yeah, let's wait for this one that's floating in. And actually, she's just gonna stand there. So go ahead and take her. Not half bad. We'll just go grab them, and hopefully we should be getting a better zone here eventually. 
All right, and here's our first of our floating does. Not bad. We'll wait for this other one and then go grab. Oh, wow. That is a mess. <laughs> Good lord. All right, and here are all of our floating deer. Not a bad one. Just a bunch of does, but who really cares? Um, I'll probably not show the rest of these, but uh, yeah, we shot, I think, every doe in that zone. Not bad. All right, guys, so I've fast traveled over to the other side of the lake over here, and this tends to be a very good zone. Um, they just spawn in an awful place, and I have a hard time getting to them, but you see them pop up right there. And if we scoot back, we might even see a couple more. Um, yeah, I think I saw one pop in right there. And there's a few as well. But uh, it's kind of hard to get to them. Um, they are a bit of a pain in the butt. Especially the ones that like to get like down in the edge right there. But I mean, if we're going to have two just get right there, I think I'm going to sneak back into the tripod and take the both of them. Because that could end up working out great. But, uh, yeah, this does tend to be a very good zone. They're just tough to see sometimes. So that's why it's a little difficult. And then in just a minute, we'll go down and hit a zone down that way. But let's get in this tripod. Break out the M1. And right there. So we'll let one of these guys put his heads down. And right like that, and right like that. And I think that should bring our other guy down. I hope we weren't too far back on him. But either way, he will go down. Alright, and here are the bucks. Let's see. Just a little guy. And then here was our second one. I think this is the bigger of the two. And yeah, an 185.6. Not bad. Well, guys, it looks like, sadly, this zone over here and this zone over here have gone doe only. That's a bit of a bummer. Huh. Well, I guess we'll have to, um, like, recheck, like, that whole area of the lake and see if anything better has come. Because there wasn't much good over here earlier when I set up, but maybe there will be now that there's no bucks over this way. So I think... We're going to go on ahead and head down to this lake. This is actually the zone where I shot my first diamond of the grind. Alright guys, so for whatever reason that zone there has gone does only as well. But this zone has not. So we're going to go ahead and pop that guy and that guy. Awesome. Let's go grab them. All right, and here are our bucks. Let's see. 151, just a little guy. And then a 165. Not bad. Let's head down to this end of the lake. All right, guys, and we do have a couple of bucks in this zone, but they are tough to see out of the tripod. So we're going to have to take them from over here. But, uh... Let's go on ahead and let that guy get his head down and take that one as well. Don't think, I think that's a doe that ran off right there. So that should be both of the bucks in that zone. Awesome. And here are the bucks. Let's see how big they are. 182.5 and let's see 170.3, another basket rack. All right, and then let's go over here and check the very last lake. All right, guys, and this is probably my absolute favorite lake. I think should be a buck there. So one buck in that zone. There's a buck way down there. So there's a couple of bucks down that way. That's a big buck right there. Yeah, that's definitely a nice buck. And then... Yeah, just a couple of does there, and we should have a buck or two right here. I think we're probably going to start by getting this guy here. And probably 
that one there. I think that should be all the ones that we're going to get at that moment. And then I think I'm going to walk down to this other tripod I have. That way I can get a little bit closer to these other ones. Alright guys, here we go. Let's see. Oh, shoot. Alright guys, so it looks like we might also have a buck in here somewhere. I have no idea. How far away are these guys? I feel like those are going to spook if we shoot this little guy wherever he is. Um, I don't know. These guys must have spooked when I shot a minute ago. I don't remember having a zone right here. But I guess I did. Either way, we're not going to mess with them. That is what we want right there. So we're going to go ahead and take him and his friend. Who will hopefully go down fairly quickly. And yeah, he is down. Let's see if... Which of these guys is the bigger one? I think it's that one right there. Just like that, and just like that. Awesome. That should bring all of them down. Let's go grab all of our deer. Alright guys, and there's our zone down at the other end of the lake. I need to put a tripod down here. That way I don't have a crazy amount of hunting pressure. I think we have two kind of decent bucks right there. I think I want to take that one and hopefully we got him and yeah he is going down awesome I think we have two right behind this bush then there should be one down in there and a couple just all over the place so the hardest part sometimes I swear is just remembering where the deer are that you shot and sometimes this area does get a little bit laggy I think this is our max weight estimate and a 213 again 87.62 kg not half bad then we have this guy here which is a 183 and oh I just had a pheasant I think they're just hens though yeah they're just hens I think, I don't know, I think it's just my imagination thinking that one's a little dark. But uh, I think we have one right here, which is a 130, tiny little guy. And then this guy right here. Then there should be, I think, four more around this lake. I think we ended up getting like eight or something. So that is not half bad. All right, and here's our itty bitty little guy. Let's see. And actually, he's not as small as I thought. But he's like that super like wide flat rack. Oh, wow. Look at that 300 meter hard shot. Let's go. All right. And here's another buck. Let's see. This is the little one. 134. And then I think, yeah, let's fast travel over here to our tent and grab the last two. All right. And here's one. Let's see. 177.9. And the other one, where did he go? I don't know. Let's put Chase on it and just see. Oh, there it is, right behind me. Oh, well, it'll work on leveling up the doggo anyways. So sometimes that's always a good thing. Level up the pupper so he can do better. And go on ahead and let him find him. Praise and confirm trophy. 173. Not terrible. I actually kind of like that rack. I just wish the points had a little bit more mass. I think the white tail, they're kind of spindly looking. I don't know. That's just me. But, uh, yeah, guys, so that is just kind of like my overall run for a great one grind. Um, we actually ended up being able to do that all in one time session because we had several uh, zones that went doe uh, do only. But, I mean, I can't complain. We got, what, I think it was 20 bucks. So like 20 bucks a run, that's not bad at all. So, and I've also, I'm not even hunting this lake because I tried to set up this lake and it's really tough to set up and there's so many bobcats down here, all the deer spook. 
So it's kind of tough to hunt that lake. But these four lakes, definitely your four best lakes for hunting whitetail. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you next time.